everyone, my name is Melissa and I am an artist. A few months ago, Clinically Inane, a podcast that you may or may not have heard of if you haven't heard of them and would like to know more, their information will be in the description box, nice little website link for you. Anyway, they issued a challenge, a challenge for people who had wanted to accomplish a goal but had been struggling with accomplishing that goal and I thought hey this would be great and before I could even put myself down for a challenge my friend Boyd W of Clinically Inane said you should totally do this. The funny thing is is we were talking a couple weeks ago and we can't remember what I had challenged myself to do or what I had been challenged to do. Uh, he even brought in Curtis that would be the other half of Clinically Inane, like a person who started the whole thing. And, you know, all three of us, we can't remember what I was challenged to do. So I sat down and I was like, well, it probably had to do with video and putting a vlog out there because I am completely terrified of being on a camera. And this is actually really hard and completely scary. So to clinically inane i have to say challenge accepted and complete because if you're watching this it's because i put it on youtube um yeah that was that was really hard <laughs> now i thought i would include something else in this video as well besides just say hey i've accepted your challenge and counting this is, is all complete because this seems kind of lame for an all-complete thing. So as you can see, I have a painting in the background. I'm gonna just take the camera over here and you can see that my dragon painting. This was another challenge actually from one of my friends. Uh, he wanted a realistic dragon so I was like well I'm I will attempt to do a realistic dragon because I have never really done a lot of dragon work even though I love dragons. So I was very excited for this piece. I was also very frustrated with it, but that's the great part about challenges is that they're so amazing and frustrating and I really love them because I come out on the other end and I'm like, hey, that wasn't so bad. Let's do it again. And then I immediately regret the decision for the next challenge. So yeah, so that's my dragon. He'll be going off to a permanent home soon. I'm not sure when. If the person the person knows who they are if they are watching this they can just let me know hopefully by the time you see this if you see this I will actually have text messaged you and been like hey when do you want your painting cuz yeah he's going he's going to a different home but I was very happy with that piece um, I thought I'd also show you a couple of other challenge pieces that I had gotten these two were actually both from challenge from clinically in aid um, first one would be this guy right here let me zoom in. Little crow saying Excelsior. This is actually a print. This is not the original. The original was bought by Clinically Inane. Curtis um, had been like, I really want to see a um, Stan Lee as done by um, the Raven. That was totally backwards. So he wanted to see Stan Lee in an Edward Gorey style as though he were in the tale of the raven by edward um edward allen poe edward allen poe i have to look that up again poe let's just go with poe okay so yeah and this is what i came up with i was so excited to do this piece and when he was like yeah i want to buy the rights for, for this i was like what i did not expect that so that was a very exciting challenge to have um this next one they don't remember. They don't remember at all. Even though I I remember. I remember because I wrote it down in my sketchbook. But we were at the Renaissance Fair and Curtis was like, hey, I would like you to do a picture. I've, I've always wanted to see a picture of Abe Lincoln as a lizard. So I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. So this is what I came up with for that one. And this all this little scale detail everything else was done but this scaling detail and I was absolutely terrified to do this because by this point I was like oh I love how it looks but it doesn't seem quite complete but I'm terrified of ruining it at this point so yeah that would be that one 
makes me pretty happy. Um, yeah, Curtis, if you still don't remember, that's okay. But, whatever. Those are all the challenges that I have, not all of them that I've completed this year, but those are just a few of the challenges I've completed this year from artwork, requests from friends. Um, so yeah, I gotta say this is, now I will count this as challenge accepted and completed guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see some more art, let me know. Let me know if there is a piece of art that you've always wanted to see and maybe I will make it. Um, I'm going to ask you to keep it PG because that's the kind of channel that I want to maintain. I want to be an all ages channel. So keep your suggestions PG. Um, yeah, but seriously, if you have any challenges, let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in regards to the process like some speed paints. I'm hoping to put some speed paints up with this. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Still trying to figure out how I'm going to record the process. You may have noticed a couple of speed paints already on this channel and those are really difficult to record uh, just because I'm trying to figure out exactly how to get the camera angles right. But yeah, I'm kind of rambling now. So thank you for watching and if you like this video, you can hit the like, you can hit subscribe, you know the drill by now. Links in the description below for all the social media goodness. Bye guys!